The construction industry can be overwhelming. With vast amounts of different job titles, sometimes it can be difficult to differentiate between them. In this video, we'll be looking into what the differences are between a quantity surveyor, land surveyor, and an estimator. We'll look into what each career path entails, the training required, and the potential salary prospects. Before we begin, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to smash the like button below. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. So let's start off by looking at what a quantity surveyor is. A quantity surveyor is heavily involved in the financial side of a project. Their skills are required right at the start of a project and will continue managing the financial aspect all the way to final account. The main tasks of a quantity surveyor are as follows, but not limited to setting project budgets, estimates, and whole life cost forecasts. Preparing documents such as conditions of contracts and bill of quantities used for procurement of subcontractors. Forecasting project cost to completion. Internal and external valuation of work carried out. Cost value reconciliation. Cash flow management. Variations. And finally, final accounts. Typically, a quantity surveyor will require a bachelor's degree, which can take three years to obtain full time or five years part time if you're learning on the job as an apprentice or a trainee. Once fully qualified, a quantity surveyor can expect to earn a salary of between thirty-five to sixty thousand pound a year, depending on experience, location, and sector of construction. A land surveyor has a very different job to a quantity surveyor. Land surveying involves gathering information about a specific area of land prior to, during, or after a construction project. Methods for collecting data include satellite photos, GPS digital images, and surveying instruments. This data is collected and used with geographic information systems for analysis. The purpose for a land surveyor is as follows. Gathering data for civil engineering and construction projects to ensure accurate site plans can be drawn. Producing maps using collected data. Establishing the effect of construction on the environment. And monitoring whether land has moved during construction or by natural process. Same as the quantity surveyor, the land surveyor will require a bachelor's degree obtained by either full-time education or part-time education with on-the-job learning. Qualified, experienced land surveyors can expect to earn between twenty-five to forty-five thousand pound a year. However, this can increase to seventy thousand pound with a more senior role. Estimators. Estimators are focused on estimating the cost required to carry out a construction project. This can be confusing as this is one of the responsibilities of a quantity surveyor. However, an estimator is much more specialised in this field. Often contractors will have to bid for work in order to be awarded the contract for construction projects. In order to achieve this, they'll need to submit their price for how much they are willing to carry out the work for. As you can imagine, this is an extremely important task, as if the price is too high, they may miss out on a lucrative opportunity, and if the price is too low, they may have just won themselves a project which is going to have devastating financial implications, resulting in a negative cash flow and an overall financial loss. It's for this reason construction companies will often employ a bid team, with the primary focus of determining what the project will cost, including a reasonable margin, formulating a desirable bid for the client. The bid team will contain estimators, which will use their skills and expertise to help formalise the financial element of this bid package. To become an estimator, you will be required to obtain at least a HND or higher national diploma, or a bachelor's degree using the part-time or full-time path. Once fully qualified, experienced estimators can expect to earn between thirty to fifty thousand pound a year, depending on location and sector. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.